People can't give him enough money. Yorkshire tea, Lisa. Oh, Yorkshire tea. I'm absolutely wasting away. I am brew. And Mark is Look absolutely in his element. Look at it all. It's his birthday tomorrow as well. Welcome back to the channel. And this week you find us in a rather wet, damp York. Now yeah. we're coming to York. We had, the, we had all this plan, didn't we? Yeah. We had it booked for quite some weeks. We've booked um, on the caravan club site just down the road, the Round Tree Park, which I'm sure most of you have heard of or stayed on previously. Yeah, we were stopping there for Mark's birthday, which is this Wednesday. It is now Monday, and we got an email say your booking is cancelled. York is underwater, and yeah, it well, is. Didn't say it was underwater. It's flooded, isn't it? Well, it's, it said they had to get, be evacuated, so they've evacuated the park. We thought it might have gone down a bit today. We've just arrived. We've managed to get into a pub stop, haven't we? About two miles down the road. Yeah, the lovely lady said we can stop in the car park. So we've, we've, we have got to York, but my goodness, is it underwater? It's drowning, oh, isn't the river's it? river's <laughs> flooded, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, so yeah, our booking was cancelled. We're still here anyway. We've come to see the Christmas markets. So we're just walking into the city centre now. Cold as usual. Got a nice little um, Chico Pops. So a nice pop. So yeah, let's go and see what's in York City Centre. Now before we set off into the city centre, right in right behind us, we have Clifford's Tower. Who's Clifford? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but he's his towers up there. I'm not sure I don't know what the history is about Clifford's Tower. If you know what it is, put it in the comments below. It looks very old. It looks like a pork pie from here. It looks like it's leaning out all the way around, doesn't it? Yeah, so. it does. But it's probably very old, that's why you'd lean if you were that old mark. So we haven't got right far, but look how close the river is. It's come right up. I mean this is one of the main roads into the city as well. The They've got some the pump pump. water out over there. Oh yeah, it? you can see the water coming out of the wall. This is the pumps here. Yeah, it's a bit bad, but it's no surprise to York, it happens all the time apparently, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a little marker there, isn't there? Flood heights at whose house? Oh god, it's, yeah, it's been a lot higher than what yeah, it is. You've been walking down here. No, no. So apparently Clifford's Tower is what's left of York Castle. It burnt down a long, long time ago. Yeah, as long ago as when you were around. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's all that's left of it. But I know that there's a, we've been here many, many times before, so there's a lovely York Minster to look at. But I'm more interested in the markets because it's nearly Christmas. Well, we've come here for that, haven't we, more than anything? No, we've come time. here for your birthday, which is on Wednesday. So. To be Chinese or something, will it? Look at this behind us. We have got the plumber, drummer. You can find him on Facebook and YouTube. What you can do with a piece of pipe, you know? Wow, we are completely in the wrong game. He has got fathers and all sorts going in that tub, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. People can't give him enough money. But he is good, that's a talent, that, isn't it? It's all the tubes. Look at this, Lisa. That's ideal for you. It's a bit rude, that, isn't it, really? Why have you left him my drone? My phone. <laughs> well, that, if that's me, then that's you, then. I like little signs, aren't they? <laughs> give it 10 minutes. <laughs> that's definitely you. I have had a bit of a senior moment today. I've left my phone in the van. Yeah. What am I going to do without my phone? I'll tell you one thing, it's busy, isn't it? It's only it Monday is. as well and it's this really, one. really, really busy. This really this busy. There's, and there must be about a busker for every corner, but we're talking, when we say buskers, full bands with Loves drums it. and guitars and everything. I've seen um, giraffes already, I know it reminds me of Spain. I've only just got here, so I'm making him walk around a bit more before he goes on bars. I bet we won't find, I bet we won't find any Fartura, so. Fartura? What's that? I think what's I prefer that? them. That were in Portugal, if you remember. Oh, they're, fa they're uh, fat churros, aren't they? Yeah. many Christmas markets before where paper lanterns are absolutely gorgeous. All made of paper mark. But you could cook some out for me like that. <laughs> well, they made of paper. Made oh, of yeah, paper, they yeah. Yeah, they're flattened down. They're clever though, aren't they? Yeah, very clever. I know what you're looking at. You're looking at this one, aren't you? Hot chocolates and marshmallows. How much is a hot chocolate? And Bailey's five pounds. That's it's not bad really, is it? No, I don't think you have to pay for your cups here like you do at um, Manchester. Well, especially, yeah, but the paper ones, that's why. Alright, oh, well, that's a very long rule, 
So we've been to many places this year and they've all had Christmas shops in like January, February, From, from the Lake March. District to, I think it's Spain, I think we're seeing them, haven't we? Funnily enough, in York, they've got one and it's actually December, it's actually relevant to Christmas. Yeah. Look at that, ooh. Lincoln Shigome roll. Mm. Large Stilton pie. Chunky chicken pie more. That's my kind of thing there. Yeah. They would send me to sleep. You know when you look like hypnotising aren't they? Can you see them behind me? Yeah. Oh they look really cool on camera. Look at that. The lights are like an emoji above my head. <laughs> they are like a Twizzler thing, aren't they, Twizzler? Twizzler? Well, like a turkey Twizzler. Yeah. Look at this, look at this one I've seen. East Asian. Can't even get away when we come to the Christmas markets. Oh, look, it shows you what they do, Mark. Oh, it's not what you like, is it? You don't like some of this stuff. Asian. It's cold as well, that. That is, it's just for sure. <laughs> I'm surprised didn't ask for it half price because it's been sat there. Yeah, we've come down to the foodie bit, I think, by the looks of it. Gourmet steak burgers. Steak burgers here. I know, I've seen it. Yeah. Those of you that haven't been to York before, there's a place called The Shambles that we're heading for. And it's probably one of the oldest parts of York, I should imagine. Yeah, we always have this debate, I think we did last time, is it made to look like that? Is it real or is it a it's tourist been, trap? It's been modernised, hasn't it, so it's safe and not falling down and stuff. Mm. Put it in the comments below, but we, well I think anyway, it's been a bit more tourist. It's still nice, isn't it, when you first it? Is it is old, but I think it's had a bit more touched up to it, hasn't it's had it? It's a bit of work done, hasn't it? And a lot of um, Harry Potter things down there now, because it looks like Diagon Alley out of Harry Potter films. Does it? Yeah. We have just found a, a map of York and it is the most funniest map we've ever seen. So we've found out where we are, we're near Finkel Street. Finkel? But what's that? Whip my what my gate. Where's that? Can you imagine asking for that when you've had a few um, mulled wines? The shambles is just round the corner, isn't it? Yeah. There's Pope's Head Alley. Lady Peckett's Yard. Crackers. No bed street. No, there isn't. called swine gate now but i've just said to mark be careful because there's so many cobbles on here mark reckons that the river's all, river's flooding up here now it's a puddle the river yeah but look how pretty this is how pretty it's is quiet that down here isn't it? it shows everyone through the market so yeah we'll just come away from the busy market for a minute because uh <coughs> it's getting a bit Busy, isn't it? Cause, shall we say? It's Monday as well, isn't it? So I, I, I tried to think it was like on a Saturday here. I know, no. We thought we'd be all right on a Monday. We've been away from the weekend, and it's just as busy, I think. Uh, over the years, how many times have we come to York, but we've never come for the markets, have we? We always used to well, say that it's nice come to Christmas markets. No, because so. we're always working all the time. That's why. And we never wanted to come on a weekend because we didn't be even. Yeah. But this is such a pretty street. It's like Victorian, isn't it? Oh yeah, some of it is, isn't it? Yeah. Some mystery. You'll yes. get your motor home down here. Look how, how narrow it is. Yeah. And they've, they've, marked, they've even had the laugh to put double yellows on either side. I've said that before. We were somewhere before. <laughs> they've put into lines. You can't even park on either side. You just block the road completely. Yeah. Are you hungry, Mark? I'm really hungry. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not being funny. I'm absolutely wasting away. You are not. Wow. Yorkshire pudding wraps, ten pound fifty. Hello. Yep. Ooh. She, she just got hold of it at the end and squeezed it really round, and all, all the juices have just all come dripping out. I'm putting you off, but all the remnants of the meat once we've served, we're scooping up and it back in tray. Not good, is it, that? You know, like bits what's fallen out and crumb. 
when they're Although slightly... I just watched them make it, like, like you make a wrap, it. and she squeezed it and all, everything just dripped out of it. <laughs> Not for me. Well, probably alright, isn't it? Isn't it? But... So we're just outside the world famous Betty's Tea Room and the queuing in the freezing cold for an afternoon dinner. I think every time we afternoon come to tea. every time we come to York, people are queuing here, aren't they? So. Yeah. Now Betty's Tea Room, they've got one in Harrogate as well, haven't they? That we've been to. We've been in. Did we do them? What some cakes are called? Them? That's what I'm trying to think. What they're called now? Is it fat, fat, fat area somehow? <laughs> so that. All they basically are is a scone with a face on it. Uh, but they are good, they are really nice, but I wouldn't queue up like that, not today, it's far too cold, far too cold. They might be, queue they might be queuing up for that and a drink of York Yorkshire tea, Lisa. Oh, Yorkshire tea, get me some Yorkshire tea. There's not all these stalls down here, they're all doing hot toddies, hot chocolate, Baileys, no Yorkshire tea. If you had a stall here, you'd be selling out, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so Mark's been in to get a drink of pop, as per usual. What have you got? Drink a pop from Sainsbury's. Iron Brew? Well, You're not in Scotland, Scotland anymore. I don't know it feels like it. It does it ache. It's cold enough, isn't it? Easy ache. It's not that bad today. It's, it's nippy, but it's well, not as cold as. Anyone who does drink a lot of Iron Brew, when we was up in Scotland last week, week before, um, I was getting it from Aldi as well, wasn't it? We were alright, actually. And apparently, a lot of you have told us up in Scotland, Aldi do the well fired rolls. So that's where you need to get them from, and, uh, Mark, in future. Good. I'm missing them, to be fair. And they've confirmed as well you need to eat them on the same day. Exactly, that's the reason why I buy them and eat them about six in one go, isn't it? It's a shame they can't do them in twos or ones. Well, you can buy them singles, but what's the point in that? I've succumbed. That. I've, I've just had one marshmallow on it. £3.50 and they don't charge extra for your whipped cream and marshmallows. Now there's one down there, they're doing £4 for hot chocolate and extra 50p for your cream you're creaming your marshmallows. You don't like them. Um, I'll just stick to iron brew. Yeah, you just stick to your iron brew. I'll stick to the nice warm hot chocolate. Chico's getting a bit cold, so you're going to have a nap, aren't you? Or are you going to eat your bag? One or two? Start shivering, anti, so let him warm up a bit in his bag. And he'll be fine to go for round two, won't he? He's getting heavy, isn't he, for this? Heavy? He's only two kilo. Only four. And a few notes on that. Got a new mate, Mark. Morris. 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 What, Morris Manor? What's he called, Morris? What? Just says Morris. What do we call these? Um, toy soldiers. But they're actually all the way around York. You got you have to go to the visitor centre, pick up a map. If you've got a kid, it'd be a good day out of that, wouldn't it? And we've found them all around York. Got something in common as well. What? Odd boots. Odd socks. Do you know? Could they, could they, could Can't take you nowhere. I think I should walk around like that now. <laughs> <laughs> so we just found the Shambles Market. It's like, you know my market items, it's not a Christmas market. Mm. Um, but if you just see the buildings behind us, this is what we're up against. The Shambles is what what you say is not real, I think it's real. It has got some history, but I don't think it's as old as it may look. Let's go mm. and have a look. This is Little Shambles, Mark. Yeah, a bit straight and rolled up and Little Shambles. Look at it. <laughs> No. Let's go this way. Very close to everyone, shall we say. Narrow, isn't it? Very narrow. Oh, look at this. Portion cauldron, Mark. Look at those, you can go in and get a portion. Wow. Gentleman's even wearing a white coat, and he like what makes him. It's like a step back in time on here, isn't it? I wonder if he'll do me a portion for you to stop liking Chinese. <laughs> We've just been on about Yorkshire tea, haven't we? And we've yeah. just found the Earl Grey tea room. 
No Yorkshire tea rooms here though. We are in Yorkshire though, aren't we? Oh, York, yeah. It's the capital, yeah. isn't it? I yeah. I certainly, I certainly would have thought they'd have done Yorkshire tea here. Uh, no reference anywhere to it, is it? I wonder where it's made Yorkshire tea. So we've just nipped into the shop, it looks like um, something to do with Harry Potter, but it's not. It's all incense and reed diffusers, but look at this, we found a wish dragon. Now, I don't know if you can hear him, but he's actually breathing. He's beautiful. What's your wish, Mark? Chinese. Surprise, surprise. Look at his eyes. Nearly as big as Chico's, aren't they? Yeah. Right, cash your man back to the beginning of the vlog when I found a map and it was called Whitmer Watmer Gate. We've only gone and found it, haven't we? Shortest street or something, isn't it? In York. The shortest street in York. Let's see what it says. It says there's someone on this church here, Mark. Look. The shortest street in church, known in 1505 as Whitmer Watmer Gate. The meaning and meaning what a street and it's later been changed to its present name but what's its present name then? Whitnor Watnor Gate but that was Whitnor Watnor Gate oh yeah it used to be Whitmer called Whitnor Watnor Gate now it's called Whitmer Watmor Gate and comments below why everywhere in York's called something gate because it's all the areas are called some gate, aren't we're Foss inside gate. The castle inside the walls the city walls aren't we it might be each one's got a gate so put it in the comments or if, if that's what it is Good morning from a still very wet York. Yeah, it's just cloudy today. It was sunny yesterday, wasn't it? So. But it was cold. It's not as cold today. Um, just wanted to show you where we were stopping. We mentioned briefly that we're doing a pub stop because Roundtree Park, the campsite that we had booked, is being evacuated sure, because of the flooding. Them. This is called the Cross Keys. You will find it on search for sites. Lovely, lovely big car park. And the food, what's the food like? No, it's really good, isn't it? The food. Really, really nice. Yeah. I had gammon, chips, pineapple, and egg. And you had a salad, don't I? Double cheeseburger. Double bacon cheese cheeseburger. Yeah, right. Yeah, really, really, really good. Nice. And we've got can't wait to go in there again tonight, yeah, can we? Tonight. So last night it cost us £30 for a meal and Roundtree Park was going to be costing us something about £36 a night. So we're better off here. The only issue here is we've got roadworks at the minute right outside and we yeah. start at six o'clock in the morning. So. And plus it's not just the roadworks, there is a nursery across the road so everyone does a early morning drop in the morning. We found that out this today, didn't we? We had a lot of nattering mothers outside the van. Yeah. But yeah, about 20, one card in about 20 slamming doors it's like <laughs> how many doors have you got really really nice couple on the pub and um, do get in touch with them don't just rock up uh, if you give them a ring or an email they'll probably get in touch with you and let you know if you can stay or not mm -hmm. uh, but it is a big car park this traffic's probably going to be gone by the time anyone else comes it's just i don't think it's going to be a major thing no. the bus is just on the other side of the pub that we're going to get now it takes what seven minutes to get into the city mm -hmm. two pound anywhere but it's literally, we don't have that far to go, so it's quite expensive, that. So let's go and see what York has in store for us today. Right, so we're just off the bus, and Mark is Look absolutely in his element. Look at it all. Look at all this here. Is it dinner time? No, it's not. We've just literally got into the city. It's like China's little mini Chinatown, isn't it? We saw it last night, this, when I said I'm coming back here, so. Salt and pepper takeaway, Regency Chinese supermarket. Oh, let's go and have a look. Look at all these here. Look at all the scooters, Mark. God, they've been battered, haven't they? No, there's no stopping him. He's not interested in scooters. Just wants to get into Chinese. Oh, it's closed until seven o'clock. What a shame. What a shame! Do you want to go in Chinese? Oh, look at all that in there, Mark, for your cooking. Yeah. You never cook it anyway. You only know chicken fried rice. Oh dear. What's that? 
Mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. Ooh, they look like they've been there for about a year. This is Ruffier Street, and it must be like a, an area for where the Chinese come and get the food. Oh my God, I'm absolutely horrified. What? And then we've realised they're not real, the plastic. <laughs> they look, well, they do look plastic, don't they? Yeah. One then, how much is the chicken fried rice? Nine pounds eighty. No way! I think that's a sitting menu, isn't it? Well, that looks like a takeaway menu to me, that Mark. No, it's the same, same menu inside. Alright. Shall we go in? No, we've had something to eat. It's far too early. Come on. Remove yourself from the Chinese, Mark. Oh my god, there's more down here. Red chilli. This is definitely, definitely the Chinese it's district, like, isn't it? It's like a mini Chinatown, isn't it? Picked a right good spot to get off the bus here, didn't we? What's here, look. What's this here, look? Moa! Wow. What's that one then? Chicken, chicken fried rice. Oh, it's, it's really hard to understand this one, isn't it? 9.30. What's it called? It's called that. <laughs> Hot pot and barbecue. It's like, it's like proper authentic Chinese, isn't it? Though? Proper authentic, though. Are you good, eh? No, because you, you know you, you won't let me go in. So. Oh, look at the blossom tree in there. Mm -hmm. It's What's nice, isn't it? Called? I don't know, they've all got Chinese names or Japanese names. Oh, this is a Japanese cuisine one, this one, Mark. People are in there eating it. Do a lot of salt and pepper, Mark. Really? Yeah. Fried rice, 11 90 Must be nice, eh? Wants to be. Oh, and another supermarket. We've got a supermarket and then a restaurant next door, same company. Let's have a lot. Red chilli. Yeah, they seem to have the, the supermarket and an attached uh, restaurant. Fancy, isn't it? Right, is that, are that all done now with no more surprises? I don't know what to tell you more of that. There's quite a few though, on this little street here in York. Eh? Who'd have thought they'd have had a Chinese area? I certainly didn't think to have a look at that. Yeah, it's a lot milder today. Not as cold. It's damp, isn't it? Yeah, it's really damp, but... What's that one? Umus. I don't really hear that umus. <laughs> Any of that what? Umus. What's umus? Umus. <laughs> Chico's decided to bark at his own reflection. He wanted some umus. So one minute you're looking at Chinese restaurants and you come around the corner and we've just seen this like a medieval building. Let's go and look what it is. I don't oh, know what it is. That, that looks like it's keeping birds from landing anywhere, doesn't it? I think it's holding this wall in place, Lisa. Yeah, it looks like a support, doesn't it? So look. It looks like a church, Mark. We're a new door. But this is York for you. One minute you'd be looking at a brand new shop and then there's a really old medieval building attached to it. Well, there, Lisa. What? Oh, look at that. Chico's fish and chips. <laughs> the world famous. No, whatever that is, Mark, it's up for sale. Uh, if anyone knows what it is, it's on North Street. Are we in Micklegate? Yeah, it's a church. Micklegate. It looks like it's falling down. Yeah, Chico's got a... a Fish and chip shop, pizzas, kebabs and takeaway. You get for free if he goes in there. I wonder if he would. <laughs> oh, British Art Foundation, Mark. Yeah, because if you remember, we came across here and said, oh, let's go to the thing. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? A few moments later. Nothing in there for me. Gutted. Nothing in there? No. Can't find anything. Have you been to have a look at the water? Yeah. And? Is it higher? Because it's been raining last night, hasn't it? Yeah, well, it doesn't make as big a difference in York. It's always delayed, and it? It's quite flooded. I, I heard some people from women walk past and say, um, they've never seen it as high as this. But you see better the other side. Yeah. There's like a pub and everything, what's like. Oh my it's God, top. yeah. It's all showing. Oh, let's go and show you this. God, it's just a, a, a wash, isn't it? Yeah. 
plantation over at the moment because the uh, river has just completely took over. Them pubs over there. Yeah. Is it actually going in them pubs that Mark? Yeah, because if you look, <gasps> that's the, the bottom. That's the bottom. That building next to the lava. How old is that? You see where them two little dots are, and then you've got a door in the middle. That's nearly up to the top of the door, isn't wow. it? Wow, what a shame! They're pumping out over there, aren't they? And it's gorgeous down here in the summertime as well. You can sit outside the pub next to the river. Can't sit anywhere now at the moment, can you? I mean, I just can't believe how old that pub is over there. And I don't know how much it's going to withstand this water like that. Or how many times it's been flooded like that, Mark. It'll have been flooded more more times than we probably care to remember, I suppose. But... That is one old building, isn't it? Yeah. I just can't get over it. I'm shocked. Look at that boat down there, right next to the building. That's obviously never parked there before, has it? Yeah. I mean, look where them people's parked, them cars over there, you might oh, not see. Oh, yeah. What well, happens if it comes up more? Well, you move your car? Weird, isn't it? More money than send some people, aren't they? Mm. Really good today. I've just been up to that churro store, haven't I? Yeah, well, I've just said, let's get some, let's treat ourselves. Not £7.50. I'm putting them in a cone, like, we think you hardly get nothing. Yeah, it's a cheat, is that? If you put food in a cone, obviously it's thinner at the bottom, and they're right big churros. So you're getting about two or three for seven pound fifty. When we went to Spain, they were like three euros for a massive sack full, weren't they? No, I'm not doing that. So he's not happy now. It's your birthday tomorrow as well. 